The price of oil shot up by a dollar and fifty cents after Iran yesterday. Um, at least that was what the media was reporting, said that they would join the negotiation table at the end of September in Algier. The uh, oil conference there was supposed to be a meeting point, at least that what was uh, uh, Saudi Arabia was saying, that is supposed to be a meeting point to form a global alliance to cap the production of oil. Markets are really focused on this. They went up from $40 to $50 in expectation that the OPEC would be somehow re-engaged together with Russia to stabilize the price of oil and to, yeah, to, to install some so sort of floor in the price of oil. Funds worldwide have their highest exposure in emerging market stocks in a year. That was what new statistics are showing and that is also showing and signaling us that investors, global investors and fund managers do not really expect a second rate hike by the Federal Reserve. They do not do so right now. They expect that emerging market stocks are going up and that is only um, a realistic assumption when you assume that the Federal Reserve will not hike rates in September because would it then the emerging markets would have troubles again because the dollar would strengthen the uh, carry trade and liquidity out of the United uh, out of the US dollar would not go into emerging markets anymore and that could uh, derail the equity rally there. If you look at the technical perspective and look at the Hang Seng index in Hong Kong then there it has formed an inverted head and shoulders pattern it has activated that inverted head and shoulders pattern. It's quite in a rally to the price target, but the price target is still northwards of where we are. So there's still potential, at least in the Hang Seng from a technical perspective. So when it comes to the speech of Janet Yellen on Friday, no one really expects that she will say anything about uh, canceling the hopes the markets have when it comes to uh, the, the liquidity and uh, loose monetary policy. She might say, okay, if the uh, data like GDP data, which is coming out on Friday, which will be the first, um, the first statistics about the running third quarter, if the third quarter would be good and if economic data will be good, it might be, a, might be um, uh, appropriate to hike rates in December or in the coming month or the second half, she will do something, give hints to that the rate hike is still on, that it's still live, and markets will continue to um, go from Fed speech to Fed speech to really try to close in on uh, the, um, on the uh, actual date where there will be a second rate hike. The equity markets, if you look at the DAX, there was this small flash crash on Monday but that has been altered or rendered meaningless. Actually, when you look at um, the volume, then this flash crash was not the beginning of a crater, um, like a sell-off in the DAX, but it was the uh, end, at least uh, when you look at it from a technical perspective, it might have been the end because um, if you look at the candlesticks from Friday, Monday and yesterday, they form a so-called morning star which is a trend reversal pattern from technical analysis might be that there is um, a bottom in the star uh, in the in the DAX because of that morning star. So that is something that you should actually uh, continue to watch. Is there now a reversal in stocks and will there be a rally after the Yellen speech? That's a big question that we have. We have um, the UK GDP data also coming out and on Friday the US GDP data and on Friday evening there will be Janet Yellen speaking. So there's a lot of signals coming to the market which could provide another spike in volatility coming towards us.